My best friend, Ravelly Jefferson, got voted class clown for my grade. Zooey mama! Well, I don't think they can take another vote or do a recount or whatever, but I totally got robbed on that. The Wimpy Kid Saga continues, not with Greg Heffley, but instead his lovable best friend, Rally Jefferson. We've taken a look inside Diary of an Awesome Friendly Kid, but book two in his series has released, Welcome to Awesome Friendly Adventure, which places our heroes on a fantastical journey across mystical lands to save Rally's mom. Upon first glance, you'd immediately realize that this is different. Out of every single Wimpy Kid book made up until this point, it's easily one that stands out the most. It's not about your typical school or vacation stuff, cause Rowley's writing his own fantasy novel. While the concept seems innocent enough, there are still some hints scattered throughout about Greg Heffley as a character. It's been interesting to see how terrible he's been throughout the series, and that behavior continues. So okay, Awesome Friendly Adventure is mainly divided into two different parts, the actual chapters of Rowley's book, and then the in-between sections that feature the best friends in real life. For the purpose of this video, I'll mainly be focusing on the Greg stuff, since that's what's most important here, but you'll still get a small taste of the fantasy aspect. The adventure begins with Roland, a young boy who's just happy to be here, and it doesn't take a rocket scientist to realize that this is a self-insert of Rally. While he lives in a new world with ogres and giants, there are still parts of him that remain the exact same. When it comes time for Greg to step in and critique his best friend's work, we immediately get a sense of how self-centered he is. Greg said the book was going to be too boring if it was only about Roland and that he needed a sidekick. I said maybe Roland could have a best friend who goes with him and his name could be Greg Heffley. But he told me everything about his life is copyright Greg Heffley and if I used his name, I'd have to pay him money. So I decided to make up a different sidekick for Roland because I don't want any trouble with Greg. Now, as Rowley writes his book, he puts pretty much his heart and soul into it. Events play out in a way that he wants because he's the author and that's what should happen, right? But Greg isn't having it. The wimpy kid disagrees with whatever his best friend is building because it doesn't align with his own ideas. Just to give you a sense of how Greg sees himself, meet Garg, the fantasy counterpart that's super strong and able to defeat anyone in his path. Greg wants a full action figure on the shelves that would sell out because everyone loves him, and then Raleigh suggests the same for his character, but Greg shoots that idea down. Not only that, but he goes on and on about how Gark can be expanded into other toys, and how girls would love him. This is just towards the beginning of the book, but it sets the course for what we can expect later. The truth of the matter is that Raleigh seeks genuine advice from the Wimpy Kid himself about how to improve the awesome friendly adventure, but Greg doesn't care. He just wants to say how great he is, and he wants to benefit from Raleigh's project himself. At one point, there's a special sword stuck in a rock, and only the best of the best can pull it out. Despite Garg's incredible muscles, oh my god, he finds no success in pulling it out. Then Roland tries, and let's go! He actually did it. As you can probably imagine, Greg isn't happy because it makes him look bad. Greg said it was totally unrealistic that Roland could pull the sword out of the rock when Garg couldn't. He said Garg probably loosened it, and that's why Roland got it out so easily. Greg manipulating Rally for his own personal gain is always happening throughout Awesome Friendly Adventure, and there's one page that sums up pretty much everything. He shows what the book cover could look like, and here we go. By Greg Heffley, in big letters, the very first name you see, and then just a small, plus Rally Jefferson below it. This reflects the idea that even though we're dealing with Rally's book, it's Greg that wants to take all the credit and doesn't care about his friend's ideas. More evidence is seen when a romance storyline is mentioned. Because Garg represents Heffley, he thinks a good couple would be him and Shavana, aka a member of the gang. Rowley thinks Roland and Shavana would be a good couple because he's sensitive and has a shy smile. But as always, Greg doesn't like the idea because it goes against him and his character. This sense of controlling continues all the way towards the end of Awesome Friendly Adventure, with Greg wanting changes either for his own personal gain or because it would make money. Now, Rowley specifically mentions that he doesn't want any expansions and is completely okay with having fun, using his imagination, and making a good story. But because that answer wasn't good enough, Enough, Greg straight up quits. He doesn't want to help Rally finish it because what's in it for him? If you thought he was doing this just to be a good friend, 
The sad thing is, you would be very wrong. In the final few pages, turns out Greg actually loves the last chapter thanks to the crazy action and plot twists. He even says it would make a good Christmas story, which would sell well, and then we get a glimpse of what the cover would look like. Notice that there's zero reference to Rally or Roland, or any of the other characters that play a much bigger role. It's all about Garg, much like it's all about Greg in real life. Overall, the relationship between these two is complicated, and honestly, depressing. In any given situation, there's a pretty good chance Hefley manipulates his best friend into doing things that please him, and it feels like something that'll never change. Even in the lightheartedness of this fun fantasy adventure, Greg still finds it in himself to be an awful person. But what are your thoughts on Rally Jefferson's awesome friendly adventure? Do you think Greg had some fair points, or should he actually have helped his best friend instead of being self-centered? Let's talk in the comments. But anyway, that's all for this video. Subscribe for more awesome cartoon videos. Give a thumbs up and come up below let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.